All right, well, so thanks for being uh, tech support MacGyver over here. Um, I, don't, I can't see what the setup looks like, but I imagine it's held together with gum and uh, paper clips. Um, anyway, so uh, we are going to be doing WordPress migrations. Um, we already talked about, well, um, at any rate, uh, I, uh, Eileen talked about uh, setting up your blog. And let's say you want to go to another host, you want to move somewhere, you've already got this great blog and you don't want to lose anything, uh, and the last thing you want to do is have to replicate everything, uh, that's going to be a hassle. So uh, let's just move everything. WordPress uh, lets us do that actually pretty easily. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take you all through it. And there are a number of different little caveats, but we'll take care of all of those. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. OK. You all see that? Yep. Yeah. OK, great. Uh, and I, I say beginner to advanced, um, but honestly, I, I, I do a lot of migrations. Um, and actually, my job at WP Engine is to help people move uh, either from another host to our platform or they're moving uh, within our platform uh, to uh, another plan on our, uh, on our service. Um, as you might imagine, it's a lot easier for us to shuffle things around than it is for somebody to move to our uh, platform. But all the same, I've seen a lot of migrations and even the most difficult ones, they pretty much all look the same. Uh, so let's get to it. I, just like in journalism, you want to consider the source. Uh, I think that's about the only overlap uh, we have with that field. But we want to think about where are we moving from? Uh, first of all, are you on WordPress.com or are you on WordPress.org? <laughs> Um, that might not be something that you're familiar with, um, but we can help you figure out if that's something you are on. Uh, do you have database access? Typically, that's going to be something called PHP My Admin. Uh, and then do you have FTP or SFTP access? Basically, that means can you get to the actual files? Um, and that's really all you need to know before you get started with the migration. WordPress.com. If you are on WordPress.com, your login looks like this. You'll see the WordPress.com up there in the left. You'll see in the address bar, I actually have to go to WordPress.com to log in. Uh, basically, what this is is that you're using their service. WordPress.com is probably the biggest host out there. You can sign up, get a free site. Uh, and if you're using just the free stuff, your site will be something.wordpress.com. Now, why do you need to know if you're on WordPress.com? Because you cannot get to the database. You cannot get to the files. Uh, what that means is that we have to figure out a different way to get your content off of there. WordPress Importer. It's a plug-in. Uh, it comes with WordPress.com. Uh, basically, uh, what it does is it lets you move all of your content off of your site. It's pretty great. What will happen is uh, you go into the settings. Uh, it's under Tools, uh, Import, and you can go in there. Uh, and It doesn't say this, but you can actually export as well. That's kind of important. Uh, what you do is you say, hey, I want to export all of my content, and it will give you a download as uh, a .xml file. Uh, we're going to break out of the presentation here real quick, and we'll do a live demo of that. I have this site. It's a cat blog. As you can see, I took some tips, and I have a really awesome blog that everybody wants to see. It's pictures of adorable cats. Um, and let's say this is on WordPress.com. It's not, but uh, as you can see here, I've got this, these options. And that's because under my plugins, I have 
Um, so where is it? Downloaded and activated. I don't know why it's... Okay, either way, tools, import, export. If you need to know whether or not you have it, you can just say WordPress import and WordPress importer install now. Activate. I'm done. Tools, export, all content, download export file. And what I do is I created a directory here right on my desktop. It's called cat blog. Um, I want to keep things organized, right? So I hit save and boom, now it's done. I don't have a whole lot of stuff. Uh, so that's why it was so quick. But that's really all it is. That's how you export your stuff. Pretty great. Get back to it. So what we want to do uh, is we want to install WordPress on our new host. Uh, we want to do that before we get anything done. Uh, the reason why is because we want to have all of the infrastructure set up to seamlessly import something into. Uh, when you install WordPress, uh, it gives you um, pretty much everything you need to just kind of put stuff in there. Uh, and actually, a lot of hosts have a quick install utility. And actually, uh, I used to work at another host that was a more general web host. And they had a tool that was literally called Quick Install. Um, if you're not sure, uh, you can contact your host. And you can say, hey, you guys have a WordPress uh, install utility. Uh, but if you're even just a little bit more technical, WordPress is super simple to install. Uh, you just go to WordPress.org, and you can find all kinds of documentation on it. Um, one thing you will need to do on your new house, you'll need to create a database. Uh, your database, you can think of it as sort of the brains of the operation. That's going to contain uh, a lot of your custom settings, things like that, uh, your users, all kinds of things. Um, and when you're creating that on your new host, um, there are three pieces of information that are associated with it. Uh, the database is going to have a name. Uh, there's going to be a database user associated with it, and there's going to be a database password associated with it. You'll want to have all of that noted down. Uh, that will come in handy later. Um, and then, of course, just like when you're creating any username and password, make sure it's um, not password123 or something like that, because uh, if somebody gets access to your database, they can pretty much do whatever they want. So, you know, let's be safe. Great. So, let's say we are on WordPress.org. We don't have to do the export, the, like the WordPress importer, exporter. Uh, we can actually export the database. Uh, that's great. That's going to make it a lot easier. Uh, so, what we need to do is we've got a whole series of steps. Um, don't worry about noting this all down. Um, I talked to um, find people at the Boston meetup, and I gave them the link to this. It's totally shared on a Google Drive, so you can uh, get these slides. Um, but the general idea is it will look like this. Again, we're going to break out of here. Um, I'm on WP Engine with these. Um, if I could do a more generic version, I would, um, but I have a free account here with WP Engine because I work there, so that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, as you can see, I've got a link here to PHP My Admin. That's where the database is. And I hop in here and I've got uh, this database, WP Cat Block. That's my live database. I'm going to just do uh, export. And I typically do quick, but as you can see, there are some options here that it wants us to do. Um, these are probably the best way to do it, so we'll do that. So we'll go to custom. Wait, now we'll do yeah, we'll do custom. Then, as you can see here, we want to do um, add drop table. Uh, we want to do uh, create table options. You know what? Actually, this doesn't quite look exactly. I'm going to do quick. This will be fine. I promise. We're going to export this. I'm going to do this in my cat blog directory. We save it. Again, it's saved pretty much instantly. 
because this is super fast. Um, great. If you want to do it like this, that's great. Um, but again, usually I find that doing the quick option works fine. All right. Now we want to do the file export. Um, the files is sort of like your framework. Um, your plugins, your themes, they're all files. You've also got uploads. Um, that's all very important. You will need an FTP client. Um, FileZilla is great. That is on both Mac and PC. CyberDuck is Mac only. WinSCP is Windows only. Um, I use FileZilla on my PC, on my Mac. I have CyberDuck, but they're all fine. Uh, they all work great. Um, WP content, you will see a directory in there. Um, that is going to contain all of your uploads, all your plugins, your themes. Uh, some other plugins also have different options. I know, for instance, that uh, Gravity Forms, that's a great plugin if you want to have forms on your site. Uh, it has a directory that it creates if it, people are uploading media through your forms, things like that. You will find pretty much all of that in WP content. That's like the standards compliant things for everything. Uh, there's another file that's very important. It's called .htaccess. Uh, this can contain redirects. It also contains a lot of WordPress code uh, for things like your permalinks. Basically, if when you go to a post, it says like your domain.com slash post name instead of question mark P equals number, you're using permalinks. That's really important. That's good stuff. Uh, you want to keep those settings. Um, if you have redirects, there are also some other things that you can have in there. That's a bit more advanced, but basically there's a lot of directives and things in there you may want to keep. wpconfig.php, it's kind of like what it sounds like. That is your WordPress configuration file. Um, a lot of times it's pretty standard, but again, there are some custom options in there. We're not going to go into that, but if that's something you're familiar with, um, and you want to dig into that a little bit, those are some settings you also might want to bring over. So we're going to break out of the presentation again. I've got FileZilla already open. You can see that. In FileZilla, you have something called a site manager. As you can see, I've got Catblog already here. Um, I've got some information already put in, um, but on my current host, which is WP Engine, uh, it has some handy SFTP information already for me. Your current host can also help direct you to that information. So I need to use this uh, for the address. Sometimes it's an IP. This is a host name just because of the kind of environment it's on. It has a specific port number. A WP Engine requires you to use port 2222. Um, SFTP is over port 22 by default. Uh, regular FTP is over port 21. Probably not something you need to know. If it is something you need to know, again, your host will probably give you that information. I've got a username already set up here. SFTP is typically authenticated with another username and password. Uh, just like the database, you're going to want to pick a strong password. None of that password one, two, three nonsense. Okay, great. So I already have that inputted here. Um, I have it set up. Set TP information, port, username, my password. I'm going to hit connect. And I made sure to clear my saved um, server stuff because I want to make sure you see this. Uh-oh. This is not a warning. This is fine. Basically what this is saying is you are connecting to a server. I'm going to always trust this because I know I'm connecting to the right place. I'm going to click OK. I just want to make sure that that popped up uh, because I have heard people talk about, uh-oh, I got this crazy error message. Don't worry about it. That is very normal. It just says, is this the server that you want to connect to? No problem. Great. Uh, on FileZilla, uh, the left side here is my local computer. The right side is the server. As you can see, this is a very fancy WordPress installation. Uh, at WP Engine, all we do is WordPress, so when you create a new site with us, we already install WordPress. Uh, but if you refer to earlier in the presentation, uh, you would have already installed that. 
great, this is what we're looking for. Um, this is the site we're moving from. So WP Content Directory, this has my plugins, themes, uploads. As you can see in the uploads directory, we've got all of my cat pictures that I want to keep. Um, but I've also got plugins, as you can see from uh, in here. I have these plugins, and I want them. Great. So that's all of that. What I'm going to do, though, is I am going to download everything. We're just going to pull everything down. I've got cat blog here. Uh, so I'm going to create a new directory here. I'm going to call it just files. And we just drag and drop. It's super easy. So now it is downloading everything. Um, you don't have to download everything. Um, typically speaking, your WP content directory is going to be all you need. Um, I'm wanting to be thorough here, so we're downloading everything. Um, but, uh, so like your WP config, uh, your .htaccess. Uh, like I mentioned before, uh, well in this slide, .htaccess is a hidden file. There is a setting here. Uh, under settings, um, let's see, it is, oh boy, I should have looked this up ahead of time, I'm sorry, um, but there is an option in here to view hidden files. Um, typically when I go into a new program like this. CyberDuck also has one. Um, honestly, I just Google like whatever program I'm using, FileZilla, uh, CyberDuck plus hidden files. It will let you know how to do it. Um, and so now all of this is transferring. Um, it'll take a little bit. If you are using, if you have got a big site, a lot of media, it can take a little while. Uh, one of the things about migrations is once you get the hang of it, uh, you don't find it very complicated. It can be just a little bit tedious. Um, so that's how you know you've made it. While that's going on, uh, we're going to go to the next section. So just so you know, pretty much you just drag and drop. FTP makes it super easy. Uh, these different FTP clients, they're phenomenal. Great. So now we're on the new host side. Uh, you've already installed WordPress on your new host. All you need to do now, uh, you've also set up a database, right? So all you need to do now is go to your new host. Again, all of these step-by-step -step instructions, uh, those are available on the slides. Um, basically, I just want to make sure that you know that this is all that goes into it. I have another installation set up on WP Engine again, um, just because it's convenient. Um, for me, um, and this is what the site looks like. This is your basic WordPress installation. It has my name, it has a Hello World post. It's using the 2016 theme, great. Um, so now I'm going to go into the database. Again, it's WP test migrate one. I'm going to drop everything. Don't worry, we just double checked. We're not losing anything important uh, because it is uh, just a default WordPress site and we've already exported our other one. So we're gonna hit what's called drop. And it makes sure you really wanna do it because again, if you do this on your live site, that's a big problem, so double check. WP test migrate one, that is not Cat blog, great. I'm deleting the right thing. That's pretty important. So now there are no tables. We've got a fresh start. We're going to hit import. I'm going to choose file. We are going to go to, those are actually pictures of my cat because we are on um, a different one. We're going to cat blog. This is the database. Good. So we hit import, we click go, and we can just do 
See, like I said, the quick option works fine. This is our database again. One of the ways we can know for sure, go to WP users. Uh, cat blog is a user. Before I would log in with, uh, you can see test migrate one. If I try to go again, uh-oh, it doesn't recognize that user. And actually, I try going there and it says cat blog one. The reason why, go to WP options site URL home. This is a little bit more advanced, but you can see it preserves literally everything. The domain, the users. I can even still log in with the same user information. Okay, cool. That was it. That's pretty easy, right? Importing a database uh, if your host is using PHP MyAdmin, and I will tell you pretty much all of them do. I have not worked at a host or even really seen a host that's a managed host that doesn't have PHP my admin. It's pretty universal. So now, this up, sorry. Before we're actually editing WP config, we need to import files. So let's check on this. Uh, boy. All right. We're going to cancel this process. It's connected. Uh, let's see. All right. Go back here. Do I stop this? Actually, you know what, Let's, let me check my um, folders here. Does it have WP content? Yep, good enough. Okay, uh, it doesn't have everything from there though. Okay, um, so you know what, I'm just gonna exit. We're gonna stop everything. I was debating doing live demos um, because every time I've seen a presentation, stuff like this happens. We're all right. Okay, everything's good. Um, here's what we're going to do. We are just going to um, WP content down. That should be quick. We're going to overwrite everything. Actually, no, we're going to skip because it all should be the same. So now it's currently moving over my themes. Um, and there are a few of them in there. Uh, this is important um, because I need my stuff. It's going to bring over my plugins. I've already got my uploads. Um, this shouldn't take too long. And actually, let me refresh. So this is one of the, um, in the presentation, uh, if you've got a large site, uh, this is why I talk about if you, uh, you can zip up your site. Um, I use a, a program called 7-Zip. It's free. It's great. Um, and what I can do is once I've downloaded everything, I can put it into a, uh, an archive called um, uh, just whatever .zip. It's just one file, and then I upload it. It makes things simple. Um, but again, uh, some hosts don't let you unzip files. WP Engine won't let you unzip your own files once they're on there. Uh, so you actually need uh, to contact support or whatever to extract them. Uh, some places let you, some places don't. So um, anyway. Yeah, you can see that it's getting pretty close here. Uh, 
um, MU plugins, not something you typically see unless you're kind of advanced or you're on WP Engine, we use something called MU plugins. These are must-use plugins. Um, they load all the time, no matter what. Plugins, just what you think it is. Themes, uh, upgrade has data about, like if you're actually upgrading, don't necessarily need to worry about it. Um, cool. Should be pretty close to done here. So one of the things that, okay, yep, it just finished, great. So now what we're going to do is we are going to now connect to the new site. This is test migrate one. As you can see, I've got in here, test migrate one. We're going to uh, get rid of this connection. We're gonna join a new connection. Again, same pop-up, not an error, everything's fine. And we're gonna connect to the new server this is one thing I tested. I wanted to make sure I had all the login information right. All right, we are going to just literally take this, we're gonna drag it, and we're gonna drop it. It's gonna ask us to overwrite stuff. We're gonna overwrite everything. It's giving me some stuff failed because I don't have permissions to overwrite MU plugins. That's normal. That's kind of a WP Engine thing. Um, because in the MU plugins directory, we have um, our WP Engine stuff. We don't let you edit that. It's totally normal. Okay, so this is uploading now. Uh, and that's, that's what I'm talking about. Um, it's super easy to do it. Um, but again, once you start getting uh, into migrations and you do them a lot, you really find them more tedious than complicated. So we'll just kind of, while this is going, we're going to uh, focus on this. We're going to need to edit our WP config file. Remember, we talked about that earlier. This is where your WordPress configurations are. Uh, naturally, uh, the files and the database, both important. Um, so you need to make sure that they're talking to each other. Uh, when you created your database, you had a database name, a database user, and a database password. Uh, these are all pieces of information that your WP config file needs. It needs to know what the name is. In this case, we're calling it database. User, user, password, password. That better not be what you're using. Um, but if it is, that's what you'd use. Um, also, uh, this is, again, more advanced. Most of the time, your database is on the same server as everything else. There are instances where that is not the case. Um, that's if you're dealing with what's called a cluster, where you've got different servers to handle your web traffic, you've got a server to handle your database, maybe multiple servers to handle your database. That's crazy. That's probably not what you're doing. Um, but if, uh, if you're you know, not sure what's going on with it, uh, just set it to this. This is 127.0.0.1. Uh, if you're in like geek stores or things, you'll see maybe something that says there's no place like 127.0.0.1 because that's home. Uh, so that is the same, that means same server that I'm on. Uh, so we're gonna double check this and it's literally this easy. I'm going to Navigate back to, it's called the root directory. I am here in the root, I see wpconfig.php. Um, now in this case, my database, um, my database name is, uh, we know from here, it's wp underscore test migrate one, um, user and password. This, since it's on WP Engine, this is something that is, um, uh, set for you. You don't need to worry about it. We actually handle your WP config for you, but we'll go to view edit. And what's cool is you can edit and it will bring it up in Notepad. Um, I use a program called Notepad++, um, but I don't have it associated here. It looks like we're just going to open it in Notepad. This is your WP config. It looks like nonsense. Notepad is not a great thing for this. Again, I like Notepad++. But if you look at it, 
DB name, DB user, DB password. I'm going to exit this right now so that you don't have that. Um, and actually, right after this presentation, um, I'm going to roll those credentials uh, just so that nobody has a password. But that's there. You can see it in there. All you need to do is edit it. Um, and then you would just uh, actually save the file. Actually, you know what? I'm doing this anyway. Reopen the file. I am going to change something real quick. Um, I am going to... You know what? I'm going to show you what happens if it's wrong. I'm going to change this to nothing. There we is no password. Five minutes before we got to be out of here. And I'm going to hit file, save. Great. Doesn't look like anything happened. Let's go back into FileZilla. Oh, look at that. File just changed. I'm going to do what's called finish editing and delete local file. Um, this basically means that this file that we're looking at is going to be removed from my local computer. That's fine. And it's done. This is gone. Okay, let's see what this site looks like. Test migrate one.wpengine.com. Oh, that's what you get. So if you see this error, that means that something in those database credentials is wrong. You have either entered the wrong database name, you have entered the wrong database user, you've entered the wrong database password, or um, the server that you're saying that it's on. Again, it's probably going to be 127.0.0.1. That might be wrong. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, see, I think I might have something here to help with that. John, they're going to kick us out of here in about five minutes. Okay, um, <laughs> let me, um, okay, sorry. Let's, uh, oh boy. Okay, so what I uh, want to do next is preview the site. Um, here, let me, um, I'm going to need to actually bring over, okay, well, so previewing the site, um, this is something that is uh, really helpful to do. You want to use uh, what's called a host file trick. You can edit your host file. What this basically does is it um, uh, makes it so that your local computer resolves your domain to a completely different IP address. Uh, so if I was using like domain.com, this is the last example on here, uh, and my IP was 12.34.56.78, the bottom part is what that line might look like. Um, if you're on Mac, there's a program called Gas Mask. It's awesome. Um, and it's really simple to use. Um, and on Windows, you have to edit this file. You have to do it as an administrator, though, because um, it's a system file. Don't be wor you know, worried about that. It's probably empty. Um, you can't break anything too badly in here. Um, so you want to do that. That lets you see it on your new host. Uh, if you remember uh, when I showed you uh, going to the new site, it actually tried to take me to... Uh, catblog.wpengine.com because that was, again, that's the domain here. Uh, so when you do a database migration like that, what's going to happen is it is going to even include the new URL. Uh, so you need to do this in order to see how the site looks on the new server. Uh, finally, once you've checked everything out, you will point your DNS. Um, this is a little scary for a lot of people. And I'll tell you, uh, it's not really that scary. It's just something that most people don't really use much. And that's fine. Uh, some hosts will give you what's called name servers. They look like maybe ns.number.domain.com. And they'll give you two of them, probably. Uh, some of them do not. WP Engine does not give you name servers. You actually need to host your own DNS. Um, and if that's the case, you need to use a DNS host. Uh, Cloudflare is amazing. I love them. That's what I use. Uh, and they have a great free plan. I don't pay for Cloudflare. Some people need to based on certain options. Uh, but I'll tell you, uh, for the most part, whatever they offer for free is good for almost everybody. Um, and what I like to do, um, point the uh, root domain as you can see in this image, it's domain.com. 
Uh, that's an A record, and that's to the IP that I get from my host. And then www is pointed with what's called a C name to domain.com. Uh, an A record basically says, hey, if somebody goes to this domain, uh, point them to this server. And that's all it does. It just says this domain goes to this server. Uh, what a C name does is it's saying www.domain.com goes to whatever domain.com. It's the, I'm, I'll have what she's having of DNS. It's just saying domain.com has it all figured out. I'm going to go to the same server forever. So if you ever need to point this A record to a different IP address, you only need to do it for domain.com. www will just follow right along. And I don't know anybody that has domain.com and www.domain.com going to two different places. So this is pretty much um, how most people will do it. Uh, if you have other subdomains, like if you're using like blog.domain.com, that would be a different record. You would have like blog in here, um, but the principle is pretty much the same. You just point it to wherever your host uh, says. Uh, that's the end of the slides. Uh, I've got my files here. They have all moved over. Um, the problem is I did break the database, but it's okay um, because um, being on WP Engine, uh, there is an option there uh, that'll just fix everything from there. And I would need to contact um, WP Engine for this. Uh, Let's see, this is different here. I'm gonna run this. This is a um, basically what I'd run from my end. Um, but let's take a look at just migrate. And actually, I'm going to make sure that it's actually using the right domain. We'll go to and as we can see, this site is testmigrate1.wpengine.com, but look at that. It is the same as catblog.com. Uh, so even though we ran into some issues, it's all good. Uh, one caveat that I will mention is if you are having to use the um, WordPress import option, uh, you know, where we've saved this XML file. Uh, that will not bring over your plugins. It won't bring over your theme. You will need to download the GAN on your new site. Um, uh, you'll need to reconfigure your settings. Um, that's why it's kind of a pain to go from WordPress.com or a place that doesn't give you database access or file access. Um, I would have gone into that a little bit more, um, but we unfortunately we are out of time. Uh, do we have time for some questions real quick, or do we really need to get going? No, they kick us out at 9. Okay. All right. Um, well, it's 9.01. I'm sorry. Um, my email is jon at wpengine.com. If you have any questions, email me directly. Totally fine. Um, and again, uh, Thanks, everybody, for coming out, and I uh, hope, hope this helped out a little bit, even though it was a little short. <laughs>